Hello and welcome to another episode of The Danger Zone, episode 12 to be exact. I'm joined here with JHL22 and Super Phil. What's going on, guys? Hey, How are man? we? First, first topic, I want to get into something real positive because mm-hmm. Phil likes to keep it positive and upbeat. What are your top three mm-hmm. most depressing moments of your life? <laughs> well, the first one was when my leg burnt <laughs> off. Uh, All right. How are no, you doing, guys? Welcome in, guys. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. It's been uh two weeks we missed last week um but we're back we back look we i'm back. just gonna say it straight away that's my fault 100 uh, straight, on the, no, no, no. straight if, on the chin no it's my fault if we miss a, a if we miss weary. a podcast it's everyone's fault yeah it's but, all through but mainly, we're a team mainly, mainly, yeah but mainly my fault the football was on it was the first game of the season and i messaged chat like hey boys footy starts tonight yeah, you pro. And we then, know where your priorities and then, are. That's and then right. James gave me the, you know, he's got a pack because he flew out to Sydney, oh, yeah, and I was just like, packing a lot. oh, if we have to. And then in the end, I didn't end up packing until like eleven o'clock at night. So yeah, because we funnily enough, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just watching the footy. <laughs> all right, good so, news, guys. Yeah, we're back better than ever. We are now on Spotify. We should also mm. be on Google Podcasts. Search us on Spotify. You might be listening to this on Spotify. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, the Danger Zone on Spotify. Apple Apple Music. Um, yeah, is, I don't know. That, I don't know what Google app podcast is that the same as like the one on your phone, like your, the little purple app, like Apple. Nah. Um, so is Google it? is like a Google app. See, I don't know where like podcast track. Is. Yeah, Google Google is a Google app. Apple is an Apple app. All right. All right, oh, all right, I get you, I get you. Um, but I don't know where like most of the traffic is. I imagine Spotify, and maybe like the Google Podcast one, or maybe the Apple. Po- I don't know what the Apple Podcast one is all about. So I don't really know. But we're up there. We're it's getting the, up there. It's just in the music section, isn't we're, it? We're branching know. out. So. Yes, expanding so them better than YouTube and everywhere else. We're gonna get our voices heard. Mm-hmm. That's for mm-hmm. sure. But obviously. YouTube comes with the video, so you know you can see our beautiful faces. You want to see these three mugs? Because we don't have we don't have faces for radio. We have the voice for radio, but we have faces for you know Hollywood. So Twitch, yeah, Hollywood, <laughs> Twitch. Um, yeah, we're too front good, page. Too good for radio. I was um I was looking at myself in the mirror the other day. I'm like, fuck, I need to start looking after myself. Like my beard's just getting out a bit, you know. You know, you get the the mustache hairs that just come over the lip. And, you know, you That's the best bit. bit. Yeah, it is. I like just chewing on them. Like, and then you just... Like we go get ice Almost cream after like swimming lessons with the kids. And then I've got like, you know, just go to lick a little bit. And all of a sudden I've got fucking <laughs> just everywhere, you know. And then, it, and then, then you... when it dries in there. Yeah. yeah that's, that's, that's exactly what you want. So... Yeah, but I'm making it my word. I'm not going to have a haircut this year at all. No haircuts. I will uh, shave. Except, yeah. What about... So you mean, you've already had... No. You're not yeah, cutting I, your I mullet. Wanna... You're cutting the no. sides, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not... I don't... Sorry, I've reworded that wrong. I don't want to pay for a haircut the whole year. Oh. So I'll get... Does that mean that maybe on the danger zone, we would get an opportunity to cut your hair? Yes. Oi, count <laughs> me in. Yeah, so I don't know if it'll be on the podcast or if it'll be... We should, like, raise money for a charity. That would be... I could imagine, like, a really bad podcast episode of just, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's funny, the live stream, but I don't think it's a good... uh, good flowing conversation time. I'm I'm due for a haircut. Should I live stream it? Yeah, 100%. It's fun. I'm very, very... I'm overdue. Overdue. Yeah. But Sophie does a really good job of yours, whereas Thea does a good job of mine, but she's done it like three times, two yeah. times. No, two times actually. So when she starts, I'm, you know, get the bit, the bit, bit itchy kind of thing, you know. Then, I, I do yeah. it myself. I like to shave the side, like here. I do like the lowest setting like around. And then Sophie yeah. like comes, she does like the, the, blends it in. And then we kind of both, do the top but like last time like now that she's getting really good at it she just kind of does it mostly herself and by both i mean like i help hold the hair and like it's it's interesting you might see it on on live stream one time yeah i'm kind of curious now i kind of want to see yeah. it so you sit there and go like that and then she comes through and goes and snips it 
No, Do we don't have scissors. As well? we, we use just the clippers, the $60 clippers that I bought like a year ago. I haven't so paid for a haircut. To lower the link too. Yeah. So the secret to really sexy, good looking hair that just flows is not to cut it with scissors, just to get with the clippers and then you hold it while you, while your wife goes through. Okay. We'll try that. Hey, it's, it's, it's acceptable. It's, be- it's better it. than like acceptable for me. Like I'm like, I get it done. So if he, so if he finishes up and I'm just like, dude, I like this. Like this looks good. I nah, mean, it looks good. It does look good. Yeah. She does a good job. She so, uh, James, you went on a plane to Sydney. I did. Went on Tell a. Tell us all about it. Went on a. What'd you call it? It's a. It's not a work trip, but it was a trip with work. So my licensee flew out. Um, all the restaurant managers that didn't have COVID, we had uh, a restaurant manager catch COVID the day before um, and put two other restaurant managers in isolation. So uh, six of us flew out, I think, um, or five of us, as well as all the um, supervisors and. HR and stuff, and yeah, we went to Sydney. Uh, flew out Thursday morning. Um, got in there at about quarter past eleven. Um, we stayed at Crown Towers in Sydney, which is super nice. I'll get to that in a sec. Um, and yeah, came home. Came home Saturday, Arvo. So we we're there for basically, you know, two and a bit days. Um, it was really nice. The boss, you know, took us out for lunch. Um, the first day, or oh, not really. We had appetizers at Crown. Um, had some really fancy stuff, too fancy for me. Um, and then sort of did our own thing. And at about quarter to five, we went and got on a yacht, um, this big yacht that was, you know, unlimited drinks and they had lots of finger food, some weird stuff, but I tried it. Some of it was pretty good. Um, some of it I would never have again in my life. Um, but yeah, we just got on there and what was the stuff drank you till, have again? Uh, there was this, what was the weirdest thing we had on there? I don't know what the weirdest thing was. The one that I remember most vividly, probably because it was earlier in the night before um, we had sunk a few. Uh, it was like, I don't know, how do, you, how do you describe those? You know those little like crackers that are like mini slices of bread? Yeah. But they're like, sta- they're they're like really stale. Yeah. Um, anyway, it was that with um, mashed pea and mint with feta cheese on top. It was, uh, yeah. it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but I, I wouldn't actively go and get it. The pea was cold and then you had like the feta. It was, it was weird. Um, but they had like sliders and, um, they had this like Korean fried marinated chicken, which was really good. So it was plenty of good nice. stuff and like it was unlimited free drinks. So we were like sat out on the, we were out in the harbor. We went past the opera house. We were, you know, traveling around, went out into the bay and then we just sat, um, we just sat uh, down in a nice spot and just watched the sunset and we're all drinking and it was dark. It was supposed to piss down all weekend, but we're really lucky. So we're just drinking there. And then we went back to this bar called Cargo, which basically every time I'm in Sydney for a work event, I take everyone to, cause that's where like we always catch up. Um, and then yes, for our Friday night, we went to Ivy, which is like a, a massive nightclub. It's like four stories and it's got like eight rooms in Sydney. Um, we also went to the Ivy boat club for lunch that day. And that was like, oh, that had a lot of weird shit that I didn't eat and some really good stuff too. Had like stuffed um, stuffed asparagus potentially that was in this like, not batter, but this like casing, which was actually really nice. Um, and yeah, it was a pretty good trip overall. We just sort of, we drank a lot. I'm exhausted still now. It's like nearly a week ago. And um, we had a work trip on the tu- Tuesday night as well earlier in Melbourne. We were at the Albion. And we're on the piss there too, which was also unlimited drinks. That was like a Macca's wide thing. So like all the restaurant managers in Vic Taz and stuff were all invited. Um, and so, yeah, we we drank a lot there. So we're already all sort of recovering because we're all old as fuck. And then had to back it up for two days in Sydney. But um, yeah, no, it was good. Had a had a great time. Really appreciative of the of the trip and um, yeah, got a lot of memories, had some laughs, found some kebabs late at night, um, had a kebab Uber eater that never got delivered to my door. Um, oh, but the highlight, I oh, was, they, so I fell asleep. It was four o'clock in the morning, woke up five minutes later to five missed calls. And then I went downstairs thinking they would have just left it with like the door people. Cause I didn't leave a room number anyway. He didn't cause he couldn't call me. He took it. And then when I called him back, um, he hung up on me. <laughs> So I think he just ate it. But yeah, highlight of the trip is the bathroom, right? I didn't even realize. So me and Jaden, this guy I work with, we were sharing a room. We walk in and we're like, wow, wow, this room's fucking amazing, whatever. 
He's taking Snapchats, showing everyone. Open the door to the toilet, shut the door to the toilet, and then I just hit beep, and the toilet seat opens. And I was like, on its own. And I was like, oh, fuck, we're in for a good time here. So the toilet had everything. There was a four and a half grand toilet. We looked it up. It's got oh. self-flushing, self-cleaning. It's got a bidet. It was fantastic. The bidet moves forwards and backwards, so it has a mode where it goes, and like sprays all different areas to get it for you has a mode where it adjusts for a woman, but I didn't realize that until I spoke to someone a day later. So I just thought it was just positioning. So I was just sort of adjusting <laughs> to, <laughs> to, get the, to get the right spot. It has an ass dryer. So it'll blow out air on your ass to dry it after you use the bidet. Of course, of Man, course. It's so good. Um, and you can change the temperature of it. So you're changing the, oh, it has a seat. The seat is heated, the toilet seat. So you can change the temperature of the toilet seat, change the temperature of the water that's blowing on your ass. Change the temperature of the ass dryer. Oh man, it was fantastic. Honestly, so Did good. You set everything to max, just like max it's, power. It's everything that everything that you want in a toilet. Ah, uh, nice. So it's kind of nice to have a, a bit cold. The water. No, but like max uh, pressure. Ah, uh, you couldn't adjust the pressure if you can. Oh, actually, no, you could. There was a there was like a, a mist mode, and they really oh. spray. So. <laughs> Yeah. I just I just love how you went all to these like fancy restaurants and you were like not uh, so keen about all this food and stuff like nah, that. Nah, the food was still good, but yeah, yeah the you were like, you appreciative and stuff. But then, was... like, as soon as you get to the toilet, you're like, "Fuck yeah, this is me! How good is this?" Well, we all the were. Food, we got the to the room straight away. And... Out. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Um, nah, we had like a big group chat of all of us, and um, yeah, we, as soon as we got in, everyone's like, "Have you seen the fucking toilet?" And then I come downstairs, and I hadn't used it yet, and this other bloke was like, "Oh mate, it's the best thing ever." So you're just waiting to to have to go and use it. It was pretty. It was funny. Um, yeah. You seen but the? No, movie, it was a good trip. You seen the movie Kenny? How he goes to like America yeah. and he makes that sale with those Japanese blokes, and he's just like, you know, you want the full like, you know, and then like he makes that grass sale with the bidets and everything. Yeah, you just remind me of like the customer, like consuming <laughs> all those. Things. Yeah. No, it was it was good. The whole trip was good. I'm I'm joking about the toilet being the highlight. Obviously, like it was very cool. But um, no, we had a we had a lot of laughs. Um, my boss had a lot to drink, which was quite entertaining, and we just had a good time. I had a couple of accidents. We got off the yacht because we had to go on in bare feet, and as soon as I stepped off onto the dock, I stepped on glass, had glass stuck in my foot, and I was way too pissed to try and pull it out. So that took me like fifteen minutes because it was a tiny little piece. Oh. Um, we went up the next day. We're in clothes, walking to the the yacht, uh, the boat club for lunch. And I put my arm on the escalator and I'm leaning. And then someone's all of a sudden like, oh, James. And, I'm, and I look and they've, there's like grease all up the escalator. So my brand new shirt's got grease on it. My hand's got grease all the way down. I reckon I got stung by a bee on that bit as well. Um, I nearly <laughs> lost my bank card, but the taxi driver drove all the way back. Um, so this is like three o'clock in the morning um, when I got kebabs the first night. And my wallet's really broken. I don't have it here. I'd show you. But all my cards must have fallen out. I went into the kebab shop to pay and realized I didn't have any cards. So I was like, oh, all right, pay off my phone. And then we need to go and find my bank card and my license. Um, and we walk outside and the taxi driver's there. And he's like, oh, the passengers of my next trip found it. Um, and they gave them to me, which unbelievably, like good people for starters. Um, and then the taxi driver's like, oh, you guys need to get out. I can't give you a trip. I need to go and take this back to the guy. And he drove back to the kebab shop and waited for us to walk out. Damn, like, what a nice yeah, guy. Yeah, a couple, of, couple of good guys. Yeah, I tipped him like 30 bucks. I was like, I'm very grateful. But there's still good people out there. So, yeah, I've probably spoken too long about my trip, but it was it was pretty good. So oh, It sounds good. amazing, man. Yeah, I had yeah. a really good time. It's it's good to be home, though. Sort of missed, the, missed my girls, missed my computer. I guess I missed Paige and Eliza, too. Didn't miss the toilet at home, though. Oh, no. no. no it's been so boring. I've had to take like a water bottle in there when I go. <laughs> Yeah, the pump bottle with the the squid yeah. lid. So, no, I already told Paige when we build, we gotta get go get a bidet. We're gonna save that extra for. Well, you can end. you can add on a bidet. Like there's add on bidet. Oh, I want stuff. this toilet though with the the air dryer and the heated that seat. Speaks to me. Four and a half grand, man. You just put it in your master bedroom. Your guests can get stuffed. They can wipe oh, like yeah. a like a average peasant. folk. Yeah, I was gonna say peasant. <laughs> but yeah, man. I, um, what did you guys get up to this week? Oh, I went on a, a um, trip for footy. Uh, hey. But it was it was just a day thing. We were supposed to stay there overnight. This place is like three hours away. But um, not too many guys were keen to stay there because they, they were literally like offering up their club rooms. 
and then we were going to get on the piss and then bring our swags and sleeping bags and like blow up mattresses and just sleep like in the club rooms you know what i mean but um a lot of guys went keen on that idea and with the price of fuel didn't want to drive six hours with like a couple of blokes in the car so we ended up just getting a bus of like 25 people and we all jumped in and it was probably the longest but funnest bus ride there and back i've ever been on the um the driver wasn't used to the gearbox basically like you know you got your standard gearbox it's like top left first bottom second well it was like neutral was two over so you've got left and then you've got second third and then you got another one reverse first that was the gearbox yeah so instead of starting off in like first or in second or whatever he was trying to start off in third sometimes and he was like revving the fuck out of it stolen sometimes with all the extra weight on the bus because it's full there's 25 blokes there and a lot of us aren't really super fit because we haven't won a game in a little while um but like you know trying to and he took us the back way there because it was the quickest way on maps but not the quickest way if you've got a bus full of 25 blokes with a trailer on the back with all our bags and equipment and like rub down benches and all that stuff that you need to play a footy game so we stalled going up the hills twice which was just a piss up like we just picture like 25 blokes just egging this one bus driver (laughs) (laughs) and he's getting three quarters up the hill and we're going "Eh." And then he stops and stalls and the starts coming back down the hill because he's in third gear instead of second and trying to rev it up. And we're just laughing our asses off. So, yeah, that was good. And then we played footy, which is, you know, just the footy bit. Who cares? But the bus ride home, um, we all put in 50 bucks each. And I think the bus was like a grand. So we had 1500 bucks worth of beers, food. And then we had to buy like two eskies and ice because no one thought to bring eskies for the trip home. So, but we wasted like 150 bucks there. But basically, we just drank on the way home, gave this bloke hell. Um, and then at one point, I started soccer chants. So we started like chanting for the other bloke. Oh, it was just hilarious. And then we just basically picked out everyone. We had the skipper is like doing this thing, which is like a thing for us. It's like ram on kind of thing. And then it was a drinking game. He'd stand up at the front of the bus where he was sitting every five minutes and do this. And then the last person to do that had to scale. And then if you didn't scale, we'd start chanting like, you suck, you suck, until you did it. So um, (laughs) it was kind of, yeah, it was a good little bonding sesh. One bloke took his shirt off and then goes, last one, take their shirt off. So wanker or something. So everyone's just had their kits off for like a good 10 minutes. And then we just started chanting at the bloke who wouldn't do it next until he eventually did it. So, yeah. No, it's no, great. It sounds fun. like sounds like a good trip. Yeah, it was just it was like the vibe just inside this confined environment with like you know twenty blokes just all six seven beers deep just loving each other and just chanting and yeah, it was good. I didn't really get out. Um, I think I think since the last episode, I watched the Batman, the new Batman Ooh. movie. Is it good? good. Anyone see that? I want to no. see it. I've been look. I've been looking to see it all week, but I've got Eliza stuck at home with me. It's good. Moment. I enjoyed it. Um, I do like. Uh, obviously, I'm not. I'm trying to like figure out what to say, how to describe it, and I always I have been for a while, but it's it was too long. I think. Like, it's three I think hours. It was isn't too it? long. I like long movies, but like. And I enjoyed it, but it was just kind of like too long. I, st- I still, I come out, I came out of it thinking, oh, that was a bit long, you know? Whereas. Do you think if it was like half an hour shorter, you would have been like, wow, this is an amazing movie sort of thing? Is, is it just sort of the length mm-hmm. that really kind of doubled you out by the end? Yeah, kind of, pretty much, because like. Because I've heard very, very, very good things about it. Oh, it's awesome. Like, it's, it's a different vibe. It's, it's kind of like Detective Batman kind of. A different kind of movie. Yeah. Um, very enjoyable. The action's pretty cool. It's a very dark movie and literally dark. Not. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, it's like uh, it's hard to see. It's it's a good movie though. But like, Soph went to the toilet like three times. I went once, which is, you know, usually I don't go to the toilet during a movie. But I'm like, well, I know this is a long one, and I better go. <laughs> I better go now, and then. Yeah, it was good. It was a good one. But that's the only thing I did. Like, 
I didn't really do anything else other than play a bit of Fortnite with uh, JHL. Uh, yep. Yeah, got a win. I came yeah. in clutch. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big, big last yeah. play there. Just yeah, huge clutch. Staying yeah. in the zone. Staying in the zone, letting them to die to the storm. But yeah, Fortnite. Um, they updated the new mm. update. Yes, this is an interesting thing to talk about. No more building. What do you think about that, Phil? So, so just night. Yeah, so it's just night. Just We're night. just playing night. Just <laughs> night. Nice. Yeah. Um, have you you've played Fortnite, Phil? No, I never played one single game. Never downloaded. Really? It. Why? Uh, when it when it was huge, I was like so. Um, what's the word? So naive. I was like, "This is a kids' game," you know, like all that sort of stuff. Like I'm just a COD multiplayer player, all that sort of thing. And then James introduced me to Warzone, and then I'm like, you know, go into battle royales again because I played Blackout. Was that? Yeah. Blackout. yeah. Can you get a bit more excited, that. Phil? Yeah, sorry. And, and then I'm just saying like, then, loud, yeah. louder, louder, louder. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, yeah, and then I realized that like, you know, this game wasn't. I don't know. I just never tried it because all the kids played it, and it was the stigma at the time when it was huge, kind of thing. I had that. Oh, I I get that stigma. Like a lot of people had that for Minecraft when they first see it, and then when they play it, they're like, "Hold on, this is like a whole new world, man." I can do whatever I want and build stuff and find things and make, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. Fortnite, getting, getting back into Fortnite, actually we played a little bit before the update. We didn't actually know it was updating to like no building, which is a huge draw for a lot of people because for, Fortnite is like people trying to get into it again or back into it or um, into it for the first time. They're like, a lot of people were like, oh, I, I like playing it, but then I don't really like the building. And like, I hate when people just build a massive castle in front of you like 1.2 seconds after you shoot them once and now that that's gone it's it's got a completely different vibe to the game yeah i i enjoyed it more um but i feel like it's going to piss off a lot of their like hardcore um uh players too um but i think it's still in competitive is it not so um, i don't know I'd be okay with them, like, you know, keeping it competitive. And for us guys that just want to come in and sort of fuck around on a game that's not as, I don't know, for me, it seems less serious than Warzone. I play Warzone, I'm like, jamming myself up, you know, like you're ADSing, like it's so serious. I can go play Warzone and sort of just muck around a little bit more. Um, I know it's temporary, um, but I, I feel like if they had that mode without building and then still had their building somewhere else, that's like a good way to And now they can have everybody. the playlist or whatever, you know, they can do that. But I think it's. Yeah, I think it's smart. I've said it like five times already, but I I think it's so cool. Like Fortnite stands out as a BR mo mainly because of the building mechanic, right? And then like they've just come out of a season to try to keep things new. They've literally just removed the one thing that makes it Fortnite, which I think was really cool. And um, It's brave. Yeah, like obviously it's they're not going to fail, but like... It's it's a cool move. I, I respect it. Phil, you should play. Yeah. Um. What I was going to say is with that mechanic, so say if they had the building thing, but they capped it, so you could only build at like three or four levels, would that like still be okay? You know what I mean? Like, uh, I think people still, would still find a way to build something pretty Phil ridiculous. Would find a way to like, you know, ruin the game that way. Find it's something not like ruining it. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's part of a the game. It's a skill gap. It's a skill gap. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. exactly what it is. And if you're willing to take the time to learn it, then I'm sure it's fantastic. But um, I'm not really interested in um, learning how to build really fast and build all this shit. Normally, if I get shot at, I just press build and I just like spam shit in front of me and just yeah. hope it works. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nah, uh, yeah, I'd probably, yeah, I'd give it a game. If you guys like, hey, go play it, I'd like download it and then jump on and shoot yeah, the shit. Download and I'd then. be like, might you know, as well. It's free. I'd be like, well, what, what the fuck am I doing here? What's this? <laughs> You'll have to walk me through it all. But yeah. You'll catch on pretty quick. The only thing that's really different is that it's kind of like, it's got a hot bar of weapons and equipment to use instead of like primary, secondary weapon and like a heal or something like that. It's got right. all these different. Yeah things that you kind of have to learn um and what makes fortnite fortnite it has you know like the shield potions like the med kits the 
the wacky things. Um, yeah. But so basically, without the build mechanic, has that stopped you from destroying walls and houses and shit? You can still destroy everything on them. Yeah. Like most the materials of the are just for like buying stuff at. Um, there's like vending machines around the map, and like okay. these random AI NP- NPCs now that sell stuff. Um, so that's sort of where you, like there's still value in destroying stuff, or just to get places quicker. Yeah. I got a little intruder. Sammy's coming in. Yeah, oh, Sammy. here we go. Do you want to come say hi? Hi. Hey, what's going on? Okay. Hey, hey buddy. Where's mummy? Say Jumped hi, off James any beds Knight, lately? Harry. He's quieter than you are. He's, yeah, yeah, we can't even hear him. He's not picking up. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh he, <laughs> he, he, said, he said, James and Aaron, you guys suck at Fortnite. He said, learn to build. Bro, I'll crank 90s on you, Sam. Do. No. No. Okay. Oh, that's a another good thing that you can't hear him because I could probably just have him sitting here and chatting, and if you can't hear him, too bad. But no, he's good. He's all right. He's all right. Ooh, yeah, good. he's fine. Um, we got a topic in the live chat right here, and I don't think we've talked about it. Um, Elden Ring. Have you guys been following Ooh. a bit of the Elden Elden Ring? Elden Ring. How I've heard rang. all about it, and it's like kind of like Dark Souls and like uh, yeah. Skyrim or something. But that's all I know. I have no idea. Um, I've seen guys play it and stuff, and I've watched till like fifteen minutes, but I can't get my head around it. I, I get am... why people enjoy it though. It looks like the little one v one fights and all the magic potions and dragons and shit. It looks cool, but mm. yeah, you guys, you guys do your thing. Yeah, I am waiting for an opportunity for myself to get into it. Um. I don't know why I haven't yet. Uh, yeah, it it's um I definitely want to play it. It's just a matter of when. Um, probably something that I'd try play on stream and do really shit, and then probably wouldn't play it on stream again. I have. I, I think. I'm sorry. I have to interrupt good. with uh, a chat message that just came through. I think JHL explored his Elden Ring with that bidet. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that was easy. <laughs> well, he clocked that game then, didn't he? <laughs> He's playing it all day, all night. Yeah, I got I got a lot of hours on that game. I tell (laughs) you, I I played that one a lot. (laughs) Yeah, Uh, Elden Ring. It's one of those games I haven't played. I was tempted to play like Dark Souls in the past, never did. I've seen a bit of like a fair bit of gameplay, like hours of gameplay, Um, but it's just I can't commit to a game like that. Like I don't want to half play the game. I don't want to like pick it up and 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 half ass it or anything like that. But it's in the future, I think. So I got Soph interested like with some like funny clips and stuff. So she wants to play it. I think it'd be a cool game if we ever get extra time, like further down the line, pick it up uh, a bit cheaper and then, you know, play it on the couch with her or casual. It would be funny. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's one play. of those games where you, you want to play it, but you don't have the time. But then if you don't play it down the line, you're going to be like, oh, shit, I really, really wish I gave it a crack. That's how I see it. And that's why like, I'll get to it eventually. i got too many games I want to play at the moment, though, and I just don't buy any of them because I'm the worst. Um, but... Super jealous of like the streamers I see on Twitch that have like just played it since it came out and like... Oh, that's their job. Yeah. 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 Speaking of uh, games that are released or are releasing, I don't know if either of you are interested at all in this game, but have you seen the gameplay for Hogwarts Legacy? You Phil, muted. you've become muted, super Phil. duper quiet. Are you muted? He's not muted. He's just gone completely quiet. I can't hear him at all. Um, Is it not coming Hogwarts, through that microphone? Is it? I've got... Um, no, I saw a bit of Hogwarts. I didn't watch any more of the trailer. i got to rewatch it. Yeah, it's but like it's fifteen minutes. It looks like it interests me because I don't really care about Harry Potter. I'm not a massive fan. It's cool, but like I'm not a Harry Potter stan, as they say. Um, but it looks like a well-made game, and that that entices yes. me. Yep, looks like a lot of yeah. love's gone into it. I um I am a Harry Potter fan, not 
to the same extent as like Marvel or Star Wars or anything. Um, but I do like Harry Potter a lot. It's one of those things like because it's on Netflix and it's really easy to watch. Um, it very like you know a couple of a couple of times a year, I'll just chuck it on and watch through them all. Star Wars I find a little bit harder to just do that, and Marvel movies just because there's so much going on. Um, and I really liked all the old Harry Potter games. I don't know if mm. you ever played like Chamber of Secrets and stuff on the uh, PlayStation. I don't know which one ones I played. You but... get on the broomstick and like fly around. And there's been some really good Harry Potter games, and this one just seems like you know there's so like obviously it's next gen. There's a whole lot more freedom to sort of do what you want because it's completely like it's 1800. So it's story wise, they've got a lot of freedom. Um, and you know you sort of place in your own house and and do all of this stuff. So um, I, I think it's going to be really really good. When it first came out, I kind of thought it was going to be an MMO. Um, Kind of glad it's not, but I would have been okay with like a co-op mode. Would have been cool. There's um, no co-op at all. Not announced yet. Um, it's very much. It seems very RPG story based, as much as it's open world. Um, so I don't think so. Maybe, maybe down the track they could add like a dueling mode or something. That would be pretty cool. Um, but I, I, I don't uh, think so. Elden Ring has like a PvP, yeah, invading mechanic, which is cool. People have yeah. a lot of fun on that. That would be cool in a Harry Potter game. I could see. I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm. You're getting me excited. Even for just it. like the online, you, talk you do it. like Quidditch. You like all play Quidditch. Yeah, or something. I, I thought that, that would that be just cool. A second ago, that yeah. Would be cool. I think I. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean steal your idea. Shit out of. Sorry, Phil? sorry, Phil. Hogwarts. Like I think I've played an absolute like the shit out of the Hogwarts game on PS2. Like, oh yeah, it would have been like. Uh, did you only play as Harry, or did you play as like the three of them? I can't remember. Because Prisoner of Azkaban, you changed between the three players. It was a very good game. But one and two back on the PS1 and two, they were very good games as well. Um, they're very outdated now, but some of the stuff you could do on them was quite cool. They've sort of all been good. Even um, uh, Goblet of Fire was like a um, a bird's eye view game. And it was sort of like more arcadey, but it was kind of cool in its own right. And then some of the newer ones they made, like um, half Blood Prince and stuff, they're all really good games too. They've sort of... Unlike, like, there's been some ordinary Star Wars games. There's been some ordinary Marvel games. Harry Potter's sort of always kind of hit the nail on the head. Um, I, I haven't I played them all, but me... I did play a few, like, yeah. back they're in the day. They're very well made, even the old ones. And they were good. I remember I remember flying books and, like, exploring around, like, Hogwarts. Yeah. It was pretty cool. It was honestly pretty cool. Yeah, it's good. Am it's I, good. Am I better now? You uh, are yeah. quieter than you were before, I think. Really? <laughs> Not when you were dead silent, but you're louder, you're quieter like the than start. when we started. What about um the Skywalker saga? Are you going to get that, Aaron? Uh, Lego. Yeah. Uh, you, we spoke about this. You weren't super keen on it, were you? No. Have you watched a like, lot of it, I was matching. Um... I was matching Brad's energy that night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I could be. Have you but watched like... much of it? Honestly, I'm not that like that excited because it's Lego. You should watch the trailers. It's it's um it's not like the old Lego games. You get like point of views that are more like just a third person view and um some of like the flying that you can do and stuff. It's it's pretty different. Um, it's I love like I love Star Wars. Lego. I I owned over like thousands of dollars of it. Thanks, mum. Like, absolutely loved it. But you know, I'm 26 now. I I, I don't really know. I'm not even 26 yet. I'm 25. Um, I don't know if I'm going to love it, you know. Like, come on. I reckon... I, if... I'm just sort of ignoring the fact that it's Lego, to be honest. Yeah, I, I could just, do that. I just like and... the look at the mechanics of it. I'm not, um, I don't more, pick up more many exci- games, though, so yeah. it's like... Well, more excitingly, just to continue on games to be released, uh, a rumor today I saw online that Fallen Order 2, well, it won't be called Fallen Order 2, Star Wars Jedi 2, whatever the title yeah. would be, um, is going to be announced at uh, Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, which is going to be May 25, somewhere in May. Is it? That's um, Obi-Wan's release date. Yeah, it mustn't be. I uh, uh, it might be. They tend to do um, Star Wars Celebration do they not on do May the 4th? Or? Might be May 4th. I don't know. In May. This year. Let's, let's but that's say in the, May. The, that's the rumor. Um, and the rumor is it will be released end of this year, which would be unreal. Didn't think we'd be getting it anywhere near that quickly. Um, Fallen, Jedi Fallen Order is an unbelievably good game. I don't think you ever ended up finishing it, did you? I didn't. I didn't. It, it's very, very good. I've, um, um, I've, I've kind of watched all the cutscenes though. 
that yeah. makes sense. But obviously, that's... that and um, Sony uh, Spider Man, they're like two of the best sort of single player games in a long time that I've played. Like I could, like I, I was just avoiding playing COD with the boys and stuff because I wanted to play those two games. Normally, single player games like that I'll play, and then as soon as someone's on, I'm like off and playing. But those, oh, froft them. Did you ever um, play Red Dead Redemption Two? Yes, did love it. No, that is a fantastic one. Did you ever play Witcher Three? No, I still want to get into it. I haven't. I haven't played. That Witcher also 3. sparked but like yeah, a love. For Red Dead's good. 3. I never finished Red Dead actually. Then did I? To it. I don't know what happened. It's one of those things. It's such a massive game. Yeah. Well, some of it's somewhat obvious. Was just by just by going off the first Red Dead. Was that Red Dead Redemption like one of the best graphic games? Like, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, the game was like fifteen years in anticipation, so they kind of needed to knock it out of the park and to still still exceed expectations after waiting ten to fifteen years for a game is just crazy, really crazy. Phil, I can talk you know, about. Oh, oh, I was just gonna ask him. Do you no, know what, yeah. what's going on with your mic? Nah, but um, I had. Uh, T's little brother come over last week or something, and I haven't used it since. Do you, you were fine you, at the start, though? Are you are you in like you know your control panel and sound control panel? Yeah, and stuff? I've gone there and everything. I've gone to Discord, audio and gain and stuff. So, do you want to? So, in your sound control panel, has that has that changed anything? Nothing's changed. No. No. Okay. Mm. I'm just I'm just worried because it's gonna be. A massive difference, I think. Oh, it is. It's huge. Can you not? Is he already fully boosted through Discord? Does that change anything? Yeah, he's he's, he's boosted. Uh, Phil, are you like no. your sound control panel where you've got the playback recording sounds and communications tabs up the top? Have you been there? Yeah. Have you already checked all your settings in Discord? Yeah. And have you seen your levels? I'm so depressed. Your levels yeah. in your mic? In the properties, if you double click on your mic, just checked it. And like for me, I was like halfway to three quarter when I'm talking on my end. Oh, oh well. Well, have you tried turning it off and on again? I can if you want me to. Not your whole computer. I just mean yeah, like unplug it. That's just the expression. No, nah, I would just unplug your mic, plug it back in, to be honest. I've done that. He's yeah. done it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have no idea. Oh. That's kind of weird. What if you try like get up on the mic and just talk into it like an actual yeah, put like, it in your mouth, radio star? Like get right in there. Yeah. Go. Try it. Talk I to wanna, us. I want to hear it. Hello. How are you? Oh, that's really good, actually. <laughs> I mean, actually that was, that if was you could do that for, for the rest of the podcast, <laughs> you're just <laughs> you gonna need to push through for us. We've mic. got like. We got like fifteen minutes to go. We just need you to push through. We've actually, like with the mic inside. Yeah, yeah, just fifteen minutes. Yeah. Imagine, imagine the mic is the bidet, and imagine you're on like, my butt. So imagine, like for you guys, like you couldn't hear me probably, but the recording afterwards, I'm like here, <laughs> like real close, and then it's just I was some ASMR shit. Or, I don't think I would be. We're bringing, we're better, bringing like, in our new yeah. audience. A new audience, yeah. ASMR come, audience. Come watch one daddy eat a microphone while two guys make fun of him for 15 minutes. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's actually good. Like, you sound crisp. Very man. crisp. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I might, Do I sound better now? I might turn my mic down and just get up in its face. Get closer. Like <laughs> well, I've done this for 15 minutes plenty of time. Nice and close to things. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to make yourself uh, right. It's more like 22 minutes. 22 minutes? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna, you wear a workout then? I'm not, oh, it's not, not a competition, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll move back to the games because I have one more game yeah, I want to talk we'll, about. Don't know if either of you have any clue what this is about. Did it, and I almost guarantee, Phil, you haven't played it. This is not me snobbing you by saying that, but I don't think Aaron, Aaron might have played it. Until Dawn, did you play it? I totally I never did not play played it. it. You know what it is? Yes, I watched a playthrough. Playthrough? Yeah, great game. That's all Paige I do. and I played it together. Had a lot of laughs. Phil, do you have any idea what Until Dawn is? Um, nighttime? No, I've got no idea. True. It's a game, right? And a lot it's, got, of it it's got lots of famous in actors in it and stuff. And it does take place at night. It's like a story-driven horror game. Um, and like you're basically acting out a movie. So you do like bits of walking around and there's like real-time actions and stuff. And um, basically the choices you make can determine who lives or dies, how the story ends, who gets out, who survives, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so great game. To you. 
Yeah, and it's a lot of fun. It was free on the PlayStation Store for a while. Um, if you can ever get it free, I'd definitely recommend play it with your missus. Um, me and Paige had a lot of laughs playing through it. Played through it across like three or four nights. Um, and it was awesome. Um, and they are making a new game called The Quarry. Um, same sort of thing. Bunch of famous actors set in, you know, whatever area. Um, and yeah, literally the exact same sort of gameplay. So that's coming out this year, which I'm really keen for. Paige and I are going to play it potentially on stream. It's just yeah, one of those games that's where... That's a stream game for it's, sure. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's a game too that like you get your bunch of mates in a room and you just get on the piss and you're all just yelling at which decision to make. Go left, no, go right. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but this one has a multiplayer mode. So it can be up to eight players because there's eight characters and you can play it two different ways online. You can either all players an individual character. So when it's your person, everyone watches you and you can choose where to go and what decisions you make and stuff. Or one person can be the host and moves the people around, but you all vote when it's a decision thing. So like if it's go left or go right, everyone votes and then it picks up. And I just feel like that's a really, really cool way of um, getting be, people integrated across different houses. Yeah, just need just need seven friends. Like we could do like a danger zone quarry stream, have our three faces and play through it sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like obviously, Ooh, but yeah. that's... Like the um, the potential to take it to other households with people rather than having to get everyone to your house would have been really handy 18 months ago in the middle of COVID. Obviously, now it's a bit easier just to get everyone over and get on the piss. But um, it's cool either way. I'm keen. Very excited. Literally, when you said that Until Dawn is a game to get all your mates over and get on the piss, and like th- that is not how I like think about, I guess, games in general. Really, unless you, unless you're talking about like old school Halo or like Mario Party or like Smash Bros or something like that, yeah, but I'll literally this Mario single Party. player game, because I've seen like you know streamers play it and stuff alone in their room. I definitely never would have thought of like to get mates together and like oh, play it's it as not, a group. It's not the the only way. Like me and Paige just played it the yeah. two of us. But I could easily see, you know, you get everyone over, you're really drunk and it's even more scary because you're drunk and then everyone, like you have to make a decision and everyone's just screaming because if you make the wrong decision, you die. And then you die and everyone's like, ah, oh, throwing their food, throwing shit at everyone. You know, I could just be... <laughs> is this you know, a scenario you know in I mean? your I'm head that you're like... It is, yeah. Why? I dream about it. Come over, <laughs> we'll do it. Nah, but seriously, like it would be fun. You know what I mean? It's like uh, that bus trip that I had on the way. Aaron doesn't think it's fun. Yeah, Aaron thinks it sounds terrible. No, I'll be down. If you you don't, if you don't coincide with the the group sort of vote, you get a oh shame. Get yelled and abused at. Yeah. Yeah, but if you're the one, and say there's like ten of you there, nine people vote for one thing, and you say the other one, and so you take the nine and they die. Oh my god, how smug would you be? Yeah. You'd go nuts, and that's what I mean. Like it's just one of those things. It'd just be a bit of fun, just taking the piss. Um, but yeah. Speaking of, do you know what? I just thought of a chant that I would have done on the bus, right? On the way back <laughs> to you, James. Yeah. You want to hear it? Is it? Is you know it the, gotta crack it down. Nah, you know that um, Dusty Martin, you know, oh, Dusty Martin, you are the love of my life. Yeah, but for you. If you say my it. last name here, I swear to God. Nah. <laughs> it'd be it like, oh, JHL22. He loves kebabs, so JHL22. He has no abs, so JHL22. <laughs> we love you. One, I feel like two, it started three. really and we just, well. Just, and then we just keep doing that. Yeah, it started it's like and finished really well. It was a bit of a whack in the middle there. but Yeah, um... that's, that's all it is. It always starts like, oh, yeah, that's kind of true. Also kind of funny. And then you give him a whack. And then at the end, it's always we love you. But if we actually yeah. don't like the guy instead of we love you, it's we hate you. And then, you know. And that's just awkward afterwards. I think my one was like, I have a shit haircut. And then something I shouldn't say on stream was after that. So, yeah. You could probably say it. Nah, nah, I can't say it. Nah, you <laughs> get, yeah, yeah. Right, nah, I it. probably wouldn't. Uh, you can it. tell us when we're done. Yeah. Text us. Type it, type it in the Discord chat. Nah, it's okay. <laughs> I'll leave it alone. No, I'll, I'll type it, actually. Yeah, type it. Don't do it right now because we're going to read it and we're just going to laugh and then everyone's going to be like, what are you laughing at? Yeah, that's the whole thing. No, no, no. I need to see it now. Oh, accidentally sharing screen. Oh, whoops. (laughs) Let's have a look. Tell us how you really feel. See, now we're just awkwardly waiting for it. There you go. Oh, you can say that. 
That's good as. He has two kids because he's a slut. That's fine. I thought it was going to be like offensive. Like, oh, offensive. offensive. End bomb. Like terms of service broken. Goodbye, Twitch. Like, it was nice knowing you. You know, like, yeah. A very... I'm a nice guy. I'm not, I'm not a slut. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you all feel loving, good offended. Loving, loving man. Yeah, if it did. You know? a very the loving middle man. One's always a little, the, the middle one's always... <laughs> feels like it was the best bus trip ever and then 20 minutes away from home, they sang this chant about me and I just didn't move from my seat. I think I made up the chant because I was making up a chant for everyone just a bit. It was fun. I was going off. Feeling creative. Yes, feeling creative. Feeling creative. Feeling I see what you did there. Mm. Mm. Yes. Ah. So I was talking to uh, JTL before this, all right? Uh, before we were we, 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 before on the podcast, and I oh. it got me thinking, right? You know how, like you were saying before on the the cab, how you lost your wallet or whatever, yes. like you lost your cards and stuff. So I had to like uh, get a new birth certificate for um for work because I need to work on my children's check because we're gonna be working at a school soon. But I've searched the house for like a week and I can't find my birth certificate. I have no idea where it is. I use it like once a year for some document or whatever. And it's always in the same folder. But like six months ago or seven months ago, whenever we moved into here, Tia got all our birth certificates. So hers, Sam's, Claire's and mine and put them in one pink folder. And we have no idea where it is. I shit you not, any bit of paperwork or any bit of schoolwork that I've ever done, I've still kept all my school books. I've no idea why. I've gone through everything and I can't find it. And this thing's like fifty-one dollars plus ten dollars postage to pay for it. But I don't have a passport, right? Because I've never been overseas. And you need either a passport, Australian citizenship thingy, or like a EMU card, which is like a um, immigration card or something like that, yeah. or a visa or something. And I'm like, well, I don't have an overseas visa or any of these other things because I've always just had a birth certificate, an Australian one. So yeah. to get the check, I had to like upload all my documents, but all the other op- uh, documents that they make you do is just ones that could be in a wallet, if that makes sense. So James, if I actually like came across your wallet in Sydney and found you your get thing- get my birth certificate. And then get your information just from there, I could literally just like- Get your email address somehow. That's probably the hard bit. And then yeah, once you got an yeah, email that address... That would be what you couldn't name. get. Yeah, maybe you've got to match up the parents' names and stuff too. That would be hard as well, especially like the mother's maiden name. So you will yeah. need to do like a little bit of a hack step. I mean, yeah, I, I think just I can get James's It sounds like it's actually... It sounds pretty difficult in the end, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but like someone close to you, you know, like Aaron just said, and I reckon I could too. And I would. I could yeah, and I could, would. What, and we would Take get your identity. Name. Yeah. yeah, well, that's a bit that's a bit different than someone finding their wallet. Like, we're friends. We know our parents' names and, and all yeah, that sort of but stuff. But I would do emails. it. So. Okay, yeah, so well, why haven't you? Think, oh, you can be me if you want. I, I think, don't know why I you would. What he's, I think what James is saying is he's not offended if we take his wallet and then steal his identity and then change his name to Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're getting at? You're going to change my name. Change me to Solo Man. Yeah. Speaking uh, of solo, man, what's going on? Why? I worked. Oh, I worked. Hold on. Sixty-five hours. That pe- week. Pe- the audience doesn't know what you're talking about right now. The audience doesn't know. Come on, give us, give us the explanation. Give us what happened. I think Aaron means they don't know about the solo TikToks. But um, yeah, so I was doing no, they might. a TikTok every day of me drinking a solo can. Some mm-hmm. of them were pretty shit where I didn't have ideas, and some of them I thought were pretty whoa, whoa, good. Whoa, let me stop. Some, you right some there. were some were some were fairly funny. All of them. We're great. We're fairly shit. <laughs> We're great. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. You cracked the solo. Um, they're great. Yeah. Um. It just. It's a lot. Um. I. Like it went for fifty-one days, which is a long time if you really think about it. And not once did I pre-record one. I wanted to. I wanted to pre-record a bunch of them. Um. But every time I tried to, I just didn't have the time or the ideas. And I'd done it for fifty-one days. Like I was well and truly either low on ideas or completely out of ideas and just coming home every day trying to find time to do it, upload it like while streaming, while looking after Eliza and trying to, you know, hang out with Paige. It was just, it just became a lot. Um, not necess- not saying that I won't eventually go back and do it. When we're in Sydney, they're all begging me to do one with them. We'll all like do a solo video or whatever. Okay. Um, we just, we just never found solo in the end to do it. Um, 
but yeah, there's only champagne. Yeah, it's a, it's just a lot. Uh, like it's a big. <laughs> there was only yeah. champagne and bidets and feta on caskets <laughs> and fucking smashed yeah, peas. Well, yeah, it's <laughs> fancy. Um, yeah. but it's it's a pretty like it's a bigger commitment than you would think because to like to to plan the video, make the video, edit the video, upload the video, share the video. Like it's it's depending on what you're doing. Like when I was trying to do big things, like I don't know, um, like the one where I was in the in the pool out the back with the snorkel and the and the flippers, right? Probably one of the better ones. That took ages because the prep, like getting, like filling up the filling pool, the pool. Yeah. putting it all on. Um, the 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 flippers were too small for me. A couple of times, Brad messed up. Brad messes up all the time trying to record them. So that became like a couple of hours just to make that video. Um, and I don't know, it got what like six hundred views. It was it was fun, but it's a lot of work. Um, so it's just it's hard to do every day. Um, maybe I'd try and if I came back, maybe I'd do like one a week and make it like really crazy and just there's, go back. There's to two ways like doing TikTok, either really well done like videos, or absolute like just garbage. Garbage. And just I, get it up. I honestly thought that like you were gonna do like crap videos, you know, like just what you're doing right now with a solo, and then that's it. Like <laughs> yeah. literally, you could just like find like an attractive woman dancing and then duet it and just drink a solo next to her <laughs> and then like call it a day you know and like yeah just that cr- i don't know like tiktok is so weird and like stuff gets views on it so i don't know you oh, i mean i was in. yeah i was very surprised with the ones that went bigger than others like i thought getting splashed by the car um the snorkel by the pool and the last one i did with the bath i thought that were the three best videos i did um, the splashing by the pool did well. Um, Brady and Brad completely botched the recording. I think if it was recorded better or in hindsight, we had a different plan where I just sat on the side of the road with a sign saying like splash if you love solo. I think if we did something like that, it might've gone bigger, but they weren't my biggest videos. My biggest video, um, is like, I got, I literally got a bottle delivered by Uber Eats cause I was in ISO. I yeah, grabbed the bottle, ran outside, sculled a 1.25 liter and like poured the rest on me. And that has like the most views. It's got like, I don't know more than anything else and i just i don't know i don't i don't get it it's um it's kind of random and then the other one was with like the kfc bucket where i started to like drown in it oh yeah yeah. (laughs) um yeah yeah, and like that's that's more so funny because i was like dying but like i don't think it was a better video than the other ones like i I don't know i don't i don't understand but um yeah I, i tried to make them as good as possible and then sometimes you know life got in the way and i literally ran out of time and was like oh, i'll just go and drink a can um, if I was just drinking a can a day, literally sculling it, I would have done it for like a year. But um, I didn't want to do that. I, um, I wanted to do something that was um, a little bit more uh, fun and funny. Yeah, I was going to um, ask you it about just, that. It just did became that, a lot to do every day. Did drinking the cans like solo like become an issue? Like, you know, you're having it every day and you're like, oh, I don't want to have this. Did that ever nah. come? Or you were just like, eh, not phased by it. Like, I just nah, don't follow that when much I, that you're like, I'll just down these all day, any day, any, anyway. Uh, no, nah. I, when I, when I was messing it up, like a couple of times it took me like six, seven, eight cans. That's when it's like, oh fuck. But like one, one bottle of, so- one can of soft drink a day, um, wasn't that big a deal. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink a can of soft drink every day. Um, but I would, you know, most nights a week. So it wasn't putting me out or anything. Um, and I, I realized pretty quickly, probably two weeks in that, if I drink a solo out of the box at room temperature, it's a hell of a lot easier to drink than getting it out of the fridge freezing cold. Um, so that made it a bit easier too. Um, but no, nah, it wasn't. It wasn't. Um, wasn't anything like that that stopped me. Um, I, uh, I've been trying to be healthier too. Like you guys know, I'm counting calories and stuff. So How's that I haven't even. I only. Yeah, good. Not good when I was in Sydney. Obviously, I didn't even bother no, no, for obvious course. reasons. Um, but I started That's again yesterday, day. so back on it. But um. King. Yeah, trying to trying to be better. So I'm trying to drink less soft drink. Like I, today, I bought Solo, but that's the first Solo I've had in the house since. Um, I didn't have any in the house last week, for example. So I've been trying to be a little bit better. Um, you know, when you started, I, I was trying to look up like marketing for like Solo, and like I was looking up Asahi. There's and no like, way. Uh, yeah, I know exactly. I'm trying to like that. see if there's like a, a email, like an email say, hey. Check this out, oh. you know, like. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No, yeah. that's not what I thought you were going to say. That's funny. what do you think. I thought you were going to say that, like, um, you know, sixty days ago, 
you, there was nothing anywhere. And then, and it, it's complete coincidence, right? Like oh, it yeah. is a complete coincidence. But out of nowhere, like halfway through me doing it, solo ads on the radio with the same music, the TikToks with the guy with the ping pong ball. Literally, I hadn't seen a solo ad in the last three years. And then all of a sudden they were everywhere. And I don't yeah. know, like I know it's a coincidence, but it's pretty bloody random. Yeah, you know? I, get them, I got them on Kinda Twitch crazy. streams and stuff. Yeah, they're everywhere now. Yeah. And they're, that's they're all everywhere. thanks to you, but they didn't give you any <laughs> money for it. Someone, Someone's seen that splash video that you did, the, the one where you got splashed by the car. I reckon, and then they've gone. Oh, we need to get our marketing team back on this, and then use this song. We forgot this song existed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then you sparked, you sparked them. That would be nice yeah, if well. that was true. Um, I'm almost certain it isn't, but it's a pretty funny coincidence. Um, my phone went off the day that they started going over TikTok. I had like 15 people send it to me, and I was like, "Yeah, seen it. That's crazy." I think I said it I like, I fucking hate this guy. Yeah, <laughs> it was like an ad as well. Like I couldn't comment on it. Like I would have been yeah. like. This is Jay Chell's. Yeah, like, I, that's all I wanted to do is go and comment on it and be like, what the fuck is this? But he couldn't. So that's all right. It was fun though. Like, I honestly, I had as frustrating as it was at times and it stressed me the fuck out trying to get one out when I, you know, worked till eight or Eliza was sick or I just wanted to get on and stream. Um, as frustrating um, as it was trying to get one out. <laughs> <laughs> I could have said push one out and that would have been <laughs> arguably as bad. But yeah, like it, it could be, it was really hard at times and that's sort of why I've gone away from it. But who knows, maybe down the track we'll do like one a week and I'll, if I can do one a week, then I would go pretty outrageous. Not spend 80 bucks on bottles of soft drink again or a hundred bucks on bottles of soft drink to fill a bath. Yeah. But um, yeah. Have you seen, I've seen those guys that like, um, they, what's the word? They edit, um, like NBA games and stuff and it's like just a general play and then like I don't know LeBron or fucking Kobe or someone will like shoot a like game winning shot a fade away or whatever over someone and then like it just zooms up on their shot you know what I mean it goes in super slow motion like perfectly in sync with the music have you seen them on TikTok? No. Uh, I'm gonna okay I, I see at least maybe one every day and I'm on there for like an hour or so it's like my I'm not on basketball routine. talk so yeah when I find one I'll send it to you and then you'll get what I mean with like yeah. the editing, editing and stuff and every single one of them they're edited grouse and that's why they've got views like you're saying before that like they're really good production yeah, yeah, yeah. I can just imagine you just like a general like you know someone just filming you down the street and then all of a sudden you just crack it and then just the edit comes in and then it's like a side on profile and then it just like yeah. really slow, like, you know, and then you just like straight arm it straight into your mouth. You know what I mean? And it's just like, yeah. I think, um, I think a lot of the just random shit on TikTok gets a lot of views. I think that was more so the point that like the good stuff gets views too, but a lot of just stuff that gets on my feed and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. But, um, I had a few ideas like that. I wanted to do one like in the food court of a shopping center, like someone just videos all the way around and then you like zoom in and I'm just sitting on a table drinking a solo, just stuff like that. But it's just, it's hard to do, like to go down there. Someone's got to video you in the middle of the food court. So that's a big ask of someone else to come and like do that. And then you're also thing. videoing a lot of random people. And then yeah. It online. Which I don't, about like it happens all the time. I don't think anyone, yeah, that didn't bother me too much, but it's just, it's just the collective effort of putting that sort of stuff together. Like it even, even just doing them on the daily was a, like I asked a lot of Brad because he was around and, you know, he spent a lot of time, you know, messing recording videos and, and yeah, messing it up a lot. But yeah, it was just, it was a lot. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I remember um, during the first lockdown, I did that push up challenge. It was like 25 push ups for 25 days. And yeah, I remember I got to like day 19 or something and then I just stopped. Because like, it was like two or three days where I was just hectic. Maybe I went back to work or I was just doing something else. I can't remember what it was. And I just like, oh shit, it was like four days ago and I haven't done a video. Uh, oh well, I'll just do push ups now to make up for it. And then never filmed it kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard. It's though. really easy to yeah. forget a day. Um, really easy. Yeah. I need I to get back really into easy. it. I, I find it's really shopping. easy, like routine-wise, to stick to something if you're only doing it like a couple times a week too. Like if you're doing something like that where you're doing it every day, it just becomes draining. Like, you know, but if you're doing something twice a week or maybe three times a week you go sometimes, to work every like, day, you know. Though. Yeah, it's draining. Really. It's draining. It's, isn't it? it's draining. It's it's draining. <laughs> but I feel like that's the that's the epitome of it. 
the it's the wake up at five a.m. Oh, I'm so excited to do this. You know, <laughs> how good's this? You know, whereas you know, two times a week, fuck, you know, I am gonna go to the gym. Let's go. Or I'm gonna. Yeah, go I'd work. I'd trip, work two days know? a week. That'd be all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if we only worked weekends and had weekdays off. Yeah, all right. Nah, I still want my weekends. I want to work like a Tuesday and a Thursday. Thank you. No, but but weekends would the weekdays would just become weekends. Like it, everything would just be on a weekend. A weekend events. You know, there's a guy that worked at my bakery who went part time, and he just worked Saturday, Sunday, and Wednesday. So he had Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. That's how that works. He had them off, but he made like. Because of the Sunday rates, Saturday rates, he made like eighty to ninety percent of like my paycheck, and like if I didn't have any weekends, he would pretty much make the same paycheck because of how it works. And I was like, you know what? That's smart. I wish that guy's got it made. Yeah, and then he like became an apprentice for some reason. But yeah, that's how I'm gonna gonna do that. I'm gonna go part time in a few years. I think. Yeah, if it were <laughs> I up to me, I'd, I'd work half retire. Time. I'm gonna yeah. retire. I'd do that. I'd work a Saturday and a Sunday, and then bloody just maybe even a Monday after that, and then that's it. It'd be, be so fantastic. good. I am. I am all for, and I've been like my dad used to do it at the airport. Like Qantas as baggage handlers used to do it, and they went away from it. But it was the best thing ever. They would their full timers do forty hours a week, but they would do four ten hour days instead of five. Oh, yeah, really? And, I would do anything to do four ten hour days. I reckon it would be way better. I, I like way places better. do that. I forget where it was, but maybe I think like Japan or I don't know. There's I a few. There's was. a few McDonald's. When we were at our summit on Tuesday, um, there was a few McDonald's that said they do it. Um, the logistics of it can be tough, especially if you've got part timers as well, though, because then what? Are, like obviously, part timers aren't going to do ten hour shifts because they don't work forty hours anyway. So that's where you have the trouble. But um, yeah, I would if I had a choice of four ten hour days or five eight, four ten hour days. Every I work, day I, work, I, work th- I work three twelve hour days, and they can have the extra four hours because I'm getting overtime anyway. Wait, that's what I said. Four <laughs> four ten hour de- days every day of the week doesn't make sense, dude. Just just every, four days. Every, <laughs> <laughs> I would do I would do um three thirteen hour days and have four days off. No, you don't oh. need 13 hours because Wait, if you work in twelve hour days, you're already getting overtime. So you're getting the you know you get the same uh, thing I mean if the overtime. laws changed where working oh, yeah, twelve yeah. hours does not get you overtime, I would do oh, three okay. thirteen hour days. Yeah, Give me yeah, those same. four days off. Yeah. yeah. Just push through like one day do would, six would till I? nine. I gotta think three days a week. No, it'd be six till it seven. Might be good. Yeah, imagine. Oh, yeah, like, thirteen hours. Yeah, yeah, thirteen. Sorry. Imagine doing yeah. that. But yeah, then that would be easy. Well, not doing easy, on like Saturday, Sunday I've rates as well. Then I'd do that. I don't know. I'd do it anyway and have four days off. I'd do it on. I'd Mondays. test that. I'd test that because that might. No, I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah. By the third day, you'd be cooked, but you're like, you know, it's my last day, so. Yeah, but then you know what you'd do. A long weekend. You'd sleep all weekend. day the first day, and then you've still got three days to yourself. Yeah. I probably sleep all day every day after that. <laughs> no, nah, imagine how much golf you'd get to play. Yeah, I played golf yesterday. Actually, went down. Hey, you. Oh, so you go. Speaking of golf, oh no, go go on. I was going to end the show. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that's it, boys. No, yeah, hit some balls. It was good fun. It was kind of yeah. like I was just relaxed. Oh, you recorded a bit, didn't you, or something? No, that was right. the other week. Yeah, I, I live streamed. Yeah. No, no, no. I saw a TikTok. Oh, that was. Like a month ago. Oh, it must have just. Ago. Yeah. That I, was um, when, late. That was when the, the boys went to the driving range and Mr. 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 J Chell 22 couldn't, couldn't be there, unfortunately. Couldn't make it. Next time, I might be able to play Sun. Oh, uh, wait. Did you say you got footy Saturday or Sunday? Uh, n- Probably not uh, the time to organize it, but I am anyway. free. <laughs> yeah, anyway. yeah, it's not yeah. the time to organize Sunday. it. Not Sunday. The time. Sunday. I'm free Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Hello. Yeah, you come in, Aaron. <laughs> Hello. Uh, we'll discuss. He is. After. He is. You can come. You can come practice in my driving range net out the back first. I oh, did you set it again today? Yeah, it's good fun. Uh, yeah, it's um, there's no, it's, it can be kind of hard probably to keep your form, just because I go out there in thongs, <laughs> because it's my backyard. Um, but no, nah, it's not. Yeah, I have at times too. Um, you know, most of the time you can still hit it all right. It's the the hardest part is you're off this mat, 
and the mat's bent because it's been sitting in like my backyard and then you lay it and it's not flat. So you can't really hit off the fairway. You either need to hit off a tee or hit off the rough. So then you've got a bit of gap to the ground so you're not hitting the plastic of it. Yeah, I get you. Um, yeah. But it's not it's not too bad. Like half the time iron, I play yeah. out of the, fair, uh, the rough anyway. Yeah. Probably. Iron, iron. Yeah, like probably. Iron, the I mean, it's, flat, it's yeah. rubber, so oh, I probably okay. wouldn't. You just bend it back the other way. Yeah, um, yeah, which would be easy to do, but I think hitting out of the fa- the hitting out of the fairway is not a massive deal. Um, hitting off the tee maybe is a little bit, but um, hitting out the, hitting out the, sorry the rough. I mean, hitting out of the rough is not a big deal because um, I spend ninety percent of my time if we play our own balls out of the rough anyway. So yeah, rough, rough. doesn't really matter. Yeah. All right, nice golf talk to finish out the podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for watching live on Twitch. You get it first. Anyone still here after the golf tour? If you're on YouTube, drop a comment. If you're on Spotify now or any other uh, podcasting application, thank you for listening. And uh, can you like on Spotify? Subscribe. I don't know. Yeah, you can if you if you if you're on Spotify, come to YouTube, like the video, and tell us you saw this on Spotify, and watch it again and listen again straight after. <laughs> you probably miss all your friends. And donate here. <laughs> and leave a comment. Tell me how bad my mic is. Do it. Hey, no, no. We fixed we'll, it. We fixed and if you want to play golf, life. message <laughs> Super Phil on TikTok. <laughs> on TikTok. Yeah. yeah, on TikTok. Yeah, I'll take TikTok. Yeah. All right, guys. See you guys next week. Thank you. Take care. Bye, everybody.